Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to install Prometheus versions 2.554.0 in Windows 2010. So let's do. First of all, you have to go to the permit HTTP is colon slash slash Prometheus dot IO and then slash download then you will be see that in a such a screen you have to come all the way down and you will be see the list of operating system where you can select that in all popular AIX, Linux and Windows so you will choose the Windows because in 2000 uh, Windows 10 support that in a and 64 bit and you can see as of now uh, you know we are in that in almost August and they have a release in August is the 2.54.0 so this is the release I'm going to download it so I click on that in this zip file and uh, it will be take a time uh, it's all depend on that in your network speed and you can see uh, in the download folder on the zip uh, Prometheus I got downloaded for in my case I'll be just go and you know in download folder it is there so I'll just cut it and I'll be go to that in a C software and inside that in I'll paste it the whole file whatever's downloaded and I'll extract it extract all and I'll just mention that in a until I'll remove the windows arm 64 and I'll be mentioned that in a extract here so it is extracting the file and now it's completed so Prometheus 2.54.0 is done and inside that you can see that much of uh, all is there what we can do for uh, instead of doing that we can control X and paste it over here because we don't want to go in the folder and subfolder and this is the un unwanted folder so we'll take it here now you can see we got that in a these are the files you know and folders so mainly we required the prometheus.exe and prometheus.yml file from tool and other are the supporting file so we need to go into that in this file and check that in a some of the configurations and port number so it's a global in a scrap a scrap interval is 15 second evaluations interval is 50 second I'll keep it default we don't have any allotting at the moment because we are just installing and you can see it is saying that in a scrap configurations and job name is the Prometheus and it's going to run in the uh, local host 9090 and with help of this IP address on the HTTP port we'll test it so this look fine now I'll be go here and just type that in a copy that in a path open that in a command prompt right and then cd and then paste the locations and prometheus.exe and then enter so now the prometheus will be a start it will be take some time and it will be uh, you know run on that in a port 9090 so it is allowing access we have to say yes once it is up and running then it will be display okay it is already done so 9090 you can see it is port it is already listing so what we'll do we'll open that in a browser again and we go to that in a new tab and then here we'll type http colon slash slash okay and then we'll type uh, localhost l o c a l colon 9090 and everything is fine then it will be display something like that so congratulations our Prometheus setup is done we can see that in a several reports you know uh, let's say we'll say that in a uh, oh, 
HTTP request router and if I just execute it you can see that much of request is started or like in you know getting success and fail so one of them is there the Prometheus one and header so by that we can see that you know uh, we can also see that you know in graph also uh, but it is a too early at the moment so we can increase that you know time to in a minute let's say and then you can see in one minute that much of a uh, graph is there so as soon as we'll be click it we can see that in an individual graph if you want to click on that in a more colorful then we can select or we choose that in our all so table and then graph then that much of a data it is displaying uh, whatever we have so for query part another we can see that in a in another video and uh, you know so this is the way you used to install and you can see uh, the uh, like in you know Prometheus is up and running so uh, that is all about uh, for Prometheus please like share and one before doing this one uh, you know um, you can integrate with uh, Prometheus with the Grafana and you can see that in such nice report uh, which I'm going to explain in my another video so you can see that in the channels uh, so thanks for uh, watching my video. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe.